Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again. And here at a beautiful 8 a.m. in Central. And I just went to the Apple Store and I just picked up, oh yeah, here we go, my first look and unboxing of this. That's right guys, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, finally in my hands. And lucky me, my appointment time was at around noon but I managed to weasel my way in, and there it is, guys. I got my 13 Pro Max, Sierra Blue, 256 gigs, but that's not all. There's also right here an iPhone 13 Pro, 512 gigs. There you see it in Sierra Blue. This one is not mine. This one's for you, Josh. <laughs> and anyway, this is my buddy's iPhone. So I'm not going to unbox that one, but what we are going to do right now is unbox my personal iPhone. I'm super excited. Let's not waste any time and get started. So here we go, tearing off the film. And look at this, guys. No plastic on this box. I love to see that. Apple leading the charge here. Oh, yeah, that means it's used already. <laughs> here we go, lifting the lid. Yes, I also picked up this nice silicone case. We'll do that one in a moment. Lifting the lid. Oh, and it is definitely... Oh, it's on both sides. <laughs> of course. There we go. Exciting, guys. Exciting. iPhone day is always exciting, even though, you know, I'm a pretty big Android channel, but I am a huge iPhone user. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You know, M. Kwan, you were right. You said this was kind of a grayish color. Yeah, I can definitely see that, but man, in this beautiful light, and let's take this for a little tour here. I'm definitely seeing quite a lot of blue here on this model. That is just stunning. What a stunning look, and what a stunning looking phone. So let's see what's inside the box before we continue. Pretty basic, guys. You have your lightning to USB-C, charging cable, designed by Apple. And we do have a sticker still, there it is. There's the sticker, I don't wanna bore you guys with the rest of that. But here we go, turning on the phone. There it goes, and quite a bit of glare here, but you can see it is turning on just stunning and let's talk about this design initially wow I mean here's the thing I'm not a huge fan of the um, of these stainless steel edges they are fingerprint magnets but you know because it is a lighter blue it's a lighter color so it's less of a fingerprint magnet which I do appreciate and before we set up let's go ahead and unbox this silicon case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max let's do it little lip there there we go and have a look at this case super exciting guys and I love this light blue silicon case I think I do prefer the color of this blue versus the midnight blue I think a lot of other people might think otherwise but let me tell you just from the looks department this is a stunning device guys stunning all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then share my first impressions of the actual experience on this 13 Pro Max all right, so here we are, folks. We are set up now. Initial setup. I haven't done my whole iCloud, but wow, guys. Initial impressions of ProMotion. That's the key new difference here. It is noticeable, and wow, it is super duper responsive. I got to tell you guys, the other thing is that if you've used an iPad Pro, this will feel very familiar. ProMotion displays doing things a little bit differently than a lot of Android manufacturers, where it's using your finger to really dictate the movement of the display. And I gotta say, this just made a buttery smooth iPhone experience even more fluid and buttery. So super excited about that. Of course, the Apple A15, talking about performance, it's not a huge bump in terms of CPU, around a 10% increase, but of course we are having a GPU increase that is pretty significant, around 50% for this phone, and of course, you have a one terabyte storage option now for the first time available on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I just can't get over this color, guys. It is stunning. Of course, I'll do my audio speaker test later on when I do my full review. But let's do it, guys. The Frankie Tech camera shot to wrap up. And wow, look at this. Photographic styles. I've been waiting for this moment because I know exactly the photographic style I want to choose. And the way this works, guys, you can you see swipe from the initial moment standard tones and that's right <laughs> i 
I'm going into vibrant mode. This is the, you know what guys, whenever you see a photo on Frankie Tech or on Twitter or in one of my thumbnails, a lot of the time I'm punching up the colors and I'm using the vibrant mode for iPhone shooting. And so that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. Let's take a beautiful shot here of the skyline of Hong Kong at 8.30 a.m., here we go. Super fast shutter, ultra fast response. And let's go ahead and have a look. Just terrific. I mean, that is that is a very vibrant look. I mean, these flowers are just popping off the display. Look at that. That is just stunning. I'm going to go 3x to that tree over there. Wow. And, of course, cinematic video and all that good stuff. You've watched a bunch of other videos already, so I don't want to bore you with that. But let me show you the 3x zoom. It looks terrific as well. So, of course, guys, just my initial impressions on this windy but beautiful morning here with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I got lucky, guys. I shouldn't have had this for another three hours. But instead, I have it now to share with all you. There it is, the iPhone 13 Pro Max on Frankie Tech. And of course, stay tuned for my full reviews and let's uh, let's do it. You know, just a quick comparison here next to the Mi 11 Ultra camera test time. Stay tuned for that coming up next. But anyways, there you go. The final shot, of this beautiful iPhone 13 Pro Max. Stay tuned for my full review, full camera test, all that good stuff coming up soon on Frankie Tech. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Oh yeah, Sierra Blue, baby. But it's kind of gray. <laughs>